happy people i'm back with another video and as promised today i'm going to be reviewing some more products from amazon and so today i have a gel polish kit that i'm going to be reviewing for you all it's actually a jelly nude gel polish kit from the company born pretty they actually uh reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to review this kit and of course i said yeah um because i've actually been on the hunt for a good jelly nude collection and um from what i saw in the photos this one looked like a really good one so i'm gonna hop right on into this it does come with six colors um i do like this packaging it's really cute kind of giving me like retro vibes um and it says always more effective uh, within the same trendy color on the back it just has like information about a warning customer service information um etc and so let's go ahead and hop right on into this Alrighty, so this is what the colors are looking like here. I'm going to go ahead and just take everything out of the packaging. This is what all the colors are looking like. These are really pretty bottles. I do like the gold handle with the white um, body of the bottle. And it looks like Born Pretty changed their logo as well. I think it used to be, yeah, it kind of used to be like this little thing here. And now it's kind of like this little hand. I'm guessing those like fingers and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cute. And it's a 10 ml bottle. So I'm going to go through um, and just show you all, all the colors really quick. The first color here is uh, BPJR01. This is what it's looking like. Okay, it's like a really pretty, just like um, pinky nude. Looks really nice. BPJR02. Okay, this looks like another pink nude, but a little bit deeper. It's really pretty. BPJR03. Okay, okay, this is also really pretty as well. It's kind of like a like a peachy jelly nude that has like a hint of like uh, mauviness to it, I think. Or maybe muted, I'm not sure. But uh, once I swatch it, I'll have a better idea of what these colors look like, but they are very pretty. You know, I'm not a stranger to the Born Pretty formula, so it's nice and, you know, has a really nice consistency. Yeah, they're really nice polishes. BP uh, JR04. Ooh, okay. So this is more so of like a kind of a off grayish color with hints of like purple undertones. Really pretty. VP JR05. Ooh, okay. This is also really pretty too. It's kind of like a kind of a deep pink color. Um, almost kind of leans a little bit red. Very pretty. VP JR05. Ooh, okay. And this is kind of like a, a a burgundy red color almost. Um, that's kind of orange. That has orange undertones. So yeah, these colors are all really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of them so y'all can see what they look like. BPJR01. Hmm. Oh, these are really pretty. They are definitely jelly colors. I feel like they're like pretty opaque be for being a jelly color, which I really like. Yeah, that's really pretty. It seems like you'll be able to build up the opacity of these fairly quickly. I would think with about two coats, this will look really nice. So that is the first color and they self level beautifully. Okay. Next we have zero two. Yeah, that's really pretty as well. Yeah. Even with the swatching of these colors, I like that you can kind of decide how jelly you want it to be. Right. So it's kind of, you know, it's pretty transparent right now and see through. And I feel like if I wanted to, even without curing right away, I can go in and build up that opacity kind of on the first swatch, which is really nice, the first layer. All right. I mean, obviously it's still jelly, but you see it's not even as transparent as it was right away. Yeah, I like that. These are going to be really nice and buildable. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. I'm going to go ahead and speed through me um, doing the rest of these colors, and I'll be right back. But this is 03. Okay, happy people. So as I was swatching this collection, I just fell in love with all of these jelly nudes. I love the versatility of jelly nudes because you really get to pick and choose the opacity that you want. Um, and so yeah, I would highly recommend this collection. It's absolutely stunning. And I did also just hop on Amazon. These gel polishes are only $13.99 and they currently have a 29% off coupon, which brings it down to $9.60. So it's under $10. So if you guys want to get your hands on it, I'll leave it in the description box and be sure to clip that coupon to take advantage of those savings this is an absolutely stunning jelly collection by the way um so i'm gonna give you all up close of what these look like so the first one here is the jr01 
absolutely stunning. Um, it's like a really soft pink color. JR02 is like a little bit of a deeper pink. JR03, which is a really pretty uh, jelly nude that actually has a really nice peach undertones to it. JR04, which is probably my favorite nude out the entire collection. This just seems like a perfect nude for like multiple skin tones. And I actually want to show you all a comparison of this color to um, a few of my other favorite nudes. I just want to move these back here. So again, this is the JR04 from Born Pretty. Um, one of my other favorite universal nudes is Sea Swing and Sung from Nail Reserve. And so that is what these two look like side by side. Okay. And then another one of my new favorite nudes, I actually just got this color in, is my Madame Glam XOXO. So that is what all three of these nudes look like. I do think that that is a pretty like close dupe for some of my other favorite nudes. The Sea Swing and Sung looks like it's a little bit deeper. I think I actually went in with three coats of that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, if you all are interested in a really good universal nude um, and have been eyeing maybe the one from Madame Glam or eyeing the one from Nail Reserve, um, I think this collection has one that's a really nice dupe for it as well and it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you all that comparison really quick in case you guys were in the market for a really nice universal nude. Next one here is JR05, which is this really cute deep peachy nude a little bit. It's really nice. I don't know how to describe these last two colors, but they're really pretty. And then this color here is um, kind of like a burgundy um, color that has like a little bit of orange undertones to it. This one would be really perfect for the fall. Um, and since they're jelly, I just want to like show you guys. It's still a little bit translucent, but not all the way. And I like the fact that you can really build up the opacity. I love the fact that with these colors, you can build up how opaque or how jelly you want them to be, which makes them pretty versatile for um, nail art. All of these would be really great like nail bed colors, especially depending on the look you're going for. Like these first four are all really nice nail bed colors. So you guys, we just entered February and while it is the month of love, it's also Black History Month. And so I did wanna go ahead and get out a Black History Month set for you guys. Before I hop into this nail set, I thought it'd be good to give you all a quick update on how my Lissette's Gel Nails Hard Gel Overlay is holding up. You guys can see I am actually going three weeks strong. Yeah, three weeks strong and the new growth is real. So excuse my um, crusty cuticles up in this piece. But yeah, that's how it's holding up. So yeah, let's hop into this quick Black History Month set, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Um, so I am going to go in with some press on nails because I haven't had a chance to remove my overlay yet. But you all know the first thing I like to do is go in and file off that free edge and make it nice and straight. From there, I do like to go in with a base coat and that's just gonna allow for whatever gel polish I put on top to adhere to the full cover tip. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite color from the collection and that's the JR04 and I'm gonna apply that to all the nail tips. Mm, this is such a pretty nude, I love it. Yeah, this really puts me in the mind of that C Swing and Sung from Nail Reserve and that XOXO from Madame Glam, I love it. This is what one coat of polish looks like and I'll be back with how the second coat looks. This is what two coats of that color looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Now I am gonna go in with my nail art. So I'm gonna get out my mixing palette here and I have a couple of pan African colors that I'm gonna be using for this look. From Madame Glam, I'm gonna be going in with my perfect red and perfect yellow. From Nail Reserve, I'll be going in with Underground Queen. From Beatles, I'll be going in with A027 for the gold. And then from Joss Love, I'll be going in with their black and their gold. So it's 210 and 212. I'm gonna get some of these colors here on the palette. For my index finger and my pinky, I'm gonna be going in with the V French tip with two different colors on each one. So on my index finger, I'm gonna be going in with the green and yellow. What I'll do for the V French tip is first I'll start here in the corner and just make a straight line going across the nail over to the free edge, like so. And then from there, I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the nail. And actually, I think I could bring the, that line down a little bit further. Maybe I'll go to like here, like here. 
And from there, I'll go ahead and take the gel polish on the brush and fill it all the way in. I'll cure this for 60 seconds. This is what the yellow looks like after two coats. Now I'm gonna go in with the green. And again, I'm going for a French, a V French tip. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right about here. Okay. And bring that French tip down like so. Yeah, that's perfect. And then from there, I'll go ahead and just fill the rest of it in. That's what this nail looks like so far. Now I'm gonna go in with the pinky nail and do the exact same colors, but instead I'm gonna go in with red and black. And next I'm gonna go in with this black. Um, just a friendly reminder when you guys are using gel liners, you wanna go ahead and make sure you are taking all of the product off of the stem of the brush. Um, I kinda just continue to wipe until it's like clear. And then just put a little bit of product on the actual nail tip, I mean the brush itself, and then it's ready to go. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the black. And again, I'll probably start like in the middle and then just work my way down. And that's perfect. And I'll go ahead and fill it in. Yeah, I really love these Joss Love liners. They're so pigmented, so opaque. Go ahead and cure for 60. So this is what the nails are looking like so far. Next, I'm gonna go in and do a marble nail on this nail here. So I am going to go in with a layer of base coat. And I actually got this suggestion from um, Tia Bella Beauty about putting on a layer of base coat for um, marbling and for blooming effect over using actual blooming gel. And I must say, I actually do prefer the base coat more because it doesn't, like the product doesn't spread as quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a nice generous layer of base coat here After your base coat has been applied then you want to go in with your colors of choice I'm gonna go in with all four colors here. So I'm gonna do just a couple stripes of the red like so Two, three, four. Then I'll go in with the green like so like One two three go in with the yellow I'll take a little bit of the gold like so and then just a smidge of black I'll just do like maybe a little bit here here and here and then I'll go ahead and take my dotting tool and just kind of mix those colors around like so and I'm just kind of randomly picking places on the nail to kind of like marble it. I don't want to mix them in too much, but you know, like just enough. And I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. I really like how that nail turned out. So that's how I do my marbles now. And I think it looks really, really pretty. So that is nail number two. Next, I'm gonna go in and just draw, draw the continent of Africa on this nail. And so, yeah, y'all, let's see how that goes. When I was trying to draw this nail, I was following along with the YouTube tutorial and I realized that I did not like how it looked and it was hard to do on camera. So I ended up doing it off camera, but my initial reaction was hilarious. <laughs> nope. As you all can see, my second attempt turned out a lot better. So here I'm just filling in the entire continent. Um, I am gonna insert a picture of the outline that I followed um, and then I just filled it in with the black. And of course, cured for 60 seconds. This is what my little continent is looking like. Um, so yeah, this is what we have so far for the nails. I think I wanna go in and do like a gold tr like outline for the uh, V French tip. So I was really happy I went in and outlined um, this V French tip with that gold. I really feel like it made the nails pop a little bit more and it actually ended up tying in some more gold accents that I added into the set a little bit later. So I was really happy that I did that. I feel like this nail is just a little bit plain, so I decided to just go around the uh, free edge of the nail with a little bit of gold, just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm going to start here and just outline the tip of the nail in gold.
Okay. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. It just gives it a little bit more personality. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. On the thumbnail, I am gonna go in with um, another marble nail. So I did go ahead and start putting that uh, base coat on already. And it's just gonna be a nice generous amount. And I'm using this in place of blooming gel. And just like I did with the original nail, I'm gonna go in with all the different colors. So first I'm gonna go in with green this time around. Yeah, I went in with the same technique as the first nail, but with this nail, I think that maybe I added too much uh, base coat because it ended up blooming and spreading way more than I wanted it to. And by the end of me mixing it around, it kind of looked not how I wanted it to look. So that's the final look here. And I actually ended up scrapping this nail and doing it again. This is what the thumb marble nail looked like. Um, so yeah, that is the entire set. So yeah, this is what the whole set is looking like this far. I am going to go in with um, these cute little like gold bars here. And I'm going to put that at the cuticle area. I'm going to go in with my Beatles rhinestone glue and apply that to the cuticle area of all the nails. So after I'm done applying the rhinestone glue to the cuticle area, I do go in with my top coat and then go ahead and place the cuticle bar um, essentially where I put the rhinestone glue um, and having that in combination is going to allow for the rhinestone glue to not be tacky and then also um, have really good holds. So you'll see me applying that to the cuticle area of each and every single nail. Um, I think I only showed like three nails of me doing this um, and I'm just so proud. Y'all look at my little counting in Africa. Don't it just look beautiful? I'm obsessed with that nail um, as well as that marble nail. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you all watch me finish doing that. Um, actually, another thing I want to mention too before I go in and finish this set off is the gold bars that are on all the nails. You'll want to go through with some top coat and just cover that bar completely just to make sure that it doesn't turn while you're actually wearing your nail set. I've already done this off camera, but I just kind of wanted to go, come on really quick and demo this to you guys because... Um, that's a really important step. I've actually done the gold bars in the past and didn't do this and they turned on me. So you want to make sure you do that because that top coat really protects the gold. And then from there you can finish applying your top coat to the entire nail. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like. I am absolutely loving how these nails turned out. I think that cuticle bar definitely added the extra flair that these nails needed. So yeah, I am gonna go ahead and um, apply these to my nails and we'll get into the finished look. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my Black History Month nails turned out. What are y'all thinking? I think that um, my little drawing of the continent of Africa turned out Lovely, I was actually really nervous about that, but it didn't turn out too bad. Loving how this marble nail turned out. And again, those gold bars, really I feel like just tied the whole look together. So let me know what you guys think about this set. Um, and are you guys planning on doing any Black History Month nails? I would love to see everybody's designs and what you all come up with. I've been loving seeing the Valentine's Day nails, but I would love to see what people get creative with for Black History Month nails as well. So. My final thoughts on this kit from Born Pretty. You all know I'm a big fan of the Born Pretty um, gel polishes. They're a really nice quality for such an affordable um, product. And so again, they are available on Amazon. So I'll leave that link down in the description box below. And I do have a discount code with their website. So in case you're looking at getting any other of their products, um, I will uh, leave that link down in the description box below as well. Yes, let's get into it. I'm so proud of this set, y'all. I was a little sad. I wanted to take some pictures outside, but we're actually going through a winter storm here in Texas. Um, me and my family, we are safe, but we've been snowed in for like the last three days. So um, I'm not able to take any pictures outside, but it is because it is too cold. But um, I'm going to try to take some pictures here at the end so you guys can see how fabulous these nails are. But yeah, y'all, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!